to the barn of many things. So this is my dad's garage. Technically they're all my dad's garages. But this is the one he's working in at the minute because as you can see, Project Outlaw is not the only project that's being worked on at the moment. At the minute he's rebuilding his, or one of his tractors, one of his Massey Fergusons. And he's had it down to component parts too. He's repainted it all and stripped the engine down and rebuilt it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Biking Viking and if you're new here, hello. Um, sorry I didn't get a video out last week. It was a weird one. Uh, all of my data and all of my files got corrupted. So, yeah. That was the thing. So this is it, this is where the crash happened one year ago today. Uh, this is where I hit the floor and rolled down the floor and smashed my uh, knee and my rib and my hand to pieces. It's kind of an odd feeling being back. Well, it's not an odd feeling being back because I drive past it every day because it is literally a two minute drive from my house. But yeah, it's uh, Weird. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna see if I can find any bits of the bike that were missed. Um, I highly doubt it after a year, but you never know. There might be something lying around. I came over that peak, and as you can see, it's a bit of a blind hill. And as I got to about where that road sign is, a tarmacking lorry was on that side of the road and the convoy coming at me was on this side of the road but yeah I remember seeing that poster around head height uh, as I was flying through the air uh, hit the floor and I finally ended up rolling around this area here somewhere near where that uh, discoloration is uh, the bike stopped about here-ish um, so as you can tell I wasn't going all that quick I was probably only doing about 45 and it's a, uh, well at the time it was a 60 mile an hour road, it's since been dropped to uh, 50. But, yeah, I ended up getting up eventually and me and the guy who was in the convoy pushed me, me and the bike over here, and then off to hospital I went. I believe that this is a photography related package. This is very difficult to do one handed. Ooh. Back at the 10 smoke grenades, happy days! So as you can see, I'm in work at the moment. Um, and it's where I've been spending an awful lot of my time recently because it's been a very busy period of the year for us. Um, which is why this vlog's kind of all over the place because I don't really have a set structure to my day anymore. I'm either covering a site like I am today or I'm at my base site or... If I'm not doing that then I'm trying to get Project Outlaw back on the road and we've all seen how that is um, hundreds and hundreds of times. There's only so many times I can show you me troubleshooting the same things over and over and over again in the small amount of time I have to work on it so it kind of gets a bit boring but yeah it's been a year since the crash. 365 days. Well it was 365 days when I recorded the beginning of the vlog. It's now been like 370 days because this is later in the week. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, lots happened in that year. But let's go over what's happened in the past 12 months, shall we? The brakes have been overhauled, the wheels been cleaned, mudguards have been filled, repaired, and cracks have been sorted and been resprayed. Front forks have been uh, replaced, the stanchions have been done, refilled with new oil, new seals. Bottom yoke's been done, top yoke's been done. Bearing's been done on the steering. Screen's been fixed. What else have we done? New handlebars, new grips, new switches, full rewire of the front end. A full clean and repair of the tank, plus respray. New seat, new side pods, modified the side, resprayed the frame, redone the rear brake, redone the foot pegs, recalibrated the brakes, redone all of the gaskets on the engine casing. 
Sorting out the clutch, sorting out the gears, selector sorting out the gearbox. Flushed the oil, smoothed off the rear fender and done a full respray. So all in all, done quite a bit of work on it. And then on a personal point, I've spent a lot of time in the depression bed. Uh, I've also done a lot of occupational therapy, a lot of physiotherapy, uh, a lot of psychological therapy to try and improve myself that way. So yeah, it's been a busy 12 months. Luckily I have the therapy doggo nearby, which is good. Who as always is making sure that I'm all right and that I'm okay and that I'm not doing anything too stupid. So with that, I think I'm going to bring this one to a close. It's been an interesting one to make, something a bit different, something a bit all over the place, because my life is all over the place at the minute. If you're liking what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button, lets me know I'm on the right track, and make sure you hit like if that's something that you're into as well and you enjoyed the video. Because you've made it all the way to the end of the video, I'm going to give you 600 awesome points. So well done to you. But for now, I've been the Viking Viking. As always, you've been awesome, and I will see you next week. What the